Hey guys, Bridget here, and in this video we're going to create uh, this uh, iOS screen from scratch uh, using Figma. Now, this uh, is uh, inspired by a UI kit uh, called NFTX, uh, which I recently found uh, on UI8, uh, and I highly recommend you to check it out uh, since uh, it looks uh, really clean uh, and professional, and I'm going to link the, the link in the description, so feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a frame and we're going to select the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, feel free to choose any other iPhone size. And we're going to double click on the frame name and we're going to rename it to one. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to start adding uh, the main logo. So I'm going to select the text element and I'm going to write uh, NFTX. I want to remind you that this is uh, part of a UI kit. So feel free to check it out uh, in the link in the description if you want to see the full. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and let's uh, create also the other areas and uh, elements. So we're going to write uh, over here 3.536 and uh, we're going to add uh, a tag uh, overall which is essentially going to be a rectangle. Let's bring the rectangle below and uh, what we're gonna do is we're going so we're going to go over here and uh, change the color to something around uh, these lines a little bit more towards a blue and we're going to make this white let's make this one bold and uh, let's round it up uh, all the way now at this point what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we're going to select nucleo icons we're going to write NFT. Let's see if we can find something. There's nothing at the moment, so maybe crypto. So we can find some uh, crypto related uh, images and we're going to go with uh, this one right here. So let's make it smaller. And let's bring it uh, over here. I'm going to make all of this a little bit smaller. So let's group it together. Or actually, let's go ahead and let's make it an auto layout. Let's center it. And we're going to basically make it quite a bit smaller. Bring it here on the right. And we are good to go when it comes to this section. Now we're going to create also a layout grid with two columns. Let's make it uh, gray and towards a blue and we're going to give it quite a bit of a margin all right now let's write uh, something like analytics we're going to use uh, one of these symbols as uh, the logo so going to go over here increase the size and frame it and make it blue. All right, I'm gonna bring it over here. And here we have our base uh, for the app. <clears throat> now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and create uh, some tags. So let's round them up just a little bit, make it just a bit smaller. I'm actually going to select this uh, text and I'm going to bring it outside and I'm going to make it quite uh, dark. Let's bring it to the top. Let's make this one lighter. So probably something around uh, these lines would do. Let's write art. I'll bring it here and I'm going to select the, the color palette in this case and I'm going to make this uh, an auto layout. So let's go ahead and let's duplicate this just a few times. I'm going to write here 
sports. This other one's going to be music. And this one's going to be photography. And that will do. Right, let's, up, let's select all of these, distribute horizontally. Now I'm going to change uh, the individual elements. Sports, we're going to use this one. Music, it's going to be this one right here. And then photography, we're going to use uh, a camera. All right, so we have uh, this established. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a master section and we're going to use the same uh, corner radius and let's uh, duplicate this text, let's bring it up here, I'm going to write text these and uh, let's increase text just a bit let's increase the line height let's bring it right here and let's make this one bold and just a little bit smaller overall so going to duplicate this text bring it here below and all the way above, I'm going to learn uh, to write learn more. We're also going to go back to Nucleo and use uh, a video icon. So let's find uh, an appropriate, maybe let's write play. And uh, we need to find uh, some sort of a play button, which uh, uh, actually also this one could work, uh, could work well. Let's go with this one. All right, let's make it smaller. We're going to bring it right here. Cool. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some uh, uh, images and uh, let's go on Unsplash okay it's uploading we're going to write minimal let's find something that could work well actually let's write NFTs NFT See if we can find something which works well in this context. Uh, this one is pretty interesting. So we're going to keep this uh, this image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one more time. We're going to write live bidding. We're going to duplicate this make it of this color and uh, I'm going to write C all. Perfect. At this point, I'm going to duplicate this one more time. I'm going to create a card. So I'm going to duplicate again, add a um, little bit of a drop shadow here. one here and uh, here we go all right now at this point what we're gonna do is we're going to make some of these smaller zero and zero we're going to bring this one here Let's write the space 305. Let's make this one darker. Let's 
let's increase this space just a bit. We're going to make this even smaller. And also a little bit more of a gray tint to it. All right, let's bring this one on the right. And we're going to make this uh, green. We're also going to add uh, um, a section like this one. We're going to make this uh, smaller overall. All right. Let's invert the colors. So in this case, I'm going to make this one blue. And then uh, the fill is going to be just 10%. All right, so we have our base going. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to have a call to action, which is going to be view. It's going to have the same color as this element here. And let's make it just a little bit smaller. Let's bring it more on the bottom section. And uh, we have uh, the base, I would say. Now at this point, we need to duplicate this. And uh, we're going to find uh, some appropriate uh, images that could go with uh, this specific design. So let's go back on Unsplash. And let's write uh, NFT. Let's try some, some of these. Just a matter of trial and error at this point. And even these colors actually look quite, uh, quite good. Let's try and see if we can, uh, if we can blend a few of these, uh, we create a duplicate section. And let's try these. So as you can see, we don't really have uh, a particular um, a particular element in mind, but we're just uh, trying different things. And I'm actually going to really like this this artist. So I'm going to copy and paste uh, the name of this artist and uh, see if we can find some images which are similar. Oh, uh, it definitely has a lot of them and uh, probably need to narrow down the research because <laughs> there's, there's so much uh, that it's really hard to find the NFTs ones. So I'm trying to think of what we could do, we could actually go back on, on Unsplash, search it directly from uh, here. The only issue is that uh, we will need to download the image and then uh, go ahead and upload it. So that takes some time. So maybe one thing that we could consider is uh, actually um, just seeing if there is uh, some sort of a tag we could use, but uh, really isn't in that case. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back, just searching for NFT. We're going to just find some uh, related ones. Just this one, this one's pretty cool also. Maybe we could also consider going into some darker tones. So this looks pretty amazing. And I would actually go ahead and spend quite a bit of time just testing different images and different combinations since uh, this really makes uh, a difference 
in uh, the final design. So I would strongly recommend you to um, not uh, dismiss uh, this uh, this part simply because it really is uh, an important uh, element of uh, um, the creation process. So let's write NFTs. So with the plural, let's see if we can find something which uh, looks um, which looks good. So this one is pretty interesting. So you want to try and find a common theme overall when it comes to to these images, and uh, yeah, just just experimenting really. There isn't uh, too much else that really needs to <laughs> to be done apart from experimenting and uh, just doing trial and error on the go and seeing which uh, of these uh, images fit uh, the best and uh, i think that we have a winner over here so we're going to simply stick to this now i'm going to duplicate this this element bring it over here and increase the size just a little bit. Make this one smaller. And what we're gonna do is we're going to increase the blur just a bit. Bring this one over here, and this one over here. I'm going to lock this up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, find some icons which look well. So I'm going to go under the home section. And try to find some of these. I'm actually going to change the default color to make, us, to make it easier on ourselves. And I'm going to change this to glyphs. So we can have some uh, uh, level of uh, visual consistency. So this could be quite helpful overall for consistency reasons. So I'm going to duplicate this, I'm going to bring it right here. And uh, Let's have a search icon, which I'm going to bring below. Then we have the plus, which I'm going to bring here. <clears throat> Statistics, which I'm going to bring here. And then profile. I'm going to bring over here. All right. Now we're going to increase the size of all of this and uh, make it smaller. Let's bring this one here. Let's distribute vertically. Let's make this novel. Let's make this white. I'm going to group this all together, and make it just a little bit smaller. All right. Let's bring this one here. And uh, I think we are in business. So we have uh, our NFT design and uh, I think it's looking pretty good. So really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the very next one.